sat down with a friend of mine over a few beers, and the topic of Jay Cutler's contract came up. This guy was so misinformed, but he was yapping and yapping and yapping, and I didn't want to interrupt him, so I figured I'd correct him once he stopped talking. Shut the f*** up! Shut the f*** up! Shut up already! Finally, when he shut the f*** up, I forgot to correct him. So I'm on the internet, and I visit a prominent website, and guess what? I read the same crap juice about Jay Cutler's contract. Crap juice! Here are the facts, misinformed media and boneheaded buddy, and anyone else espousing this nonsense. Jay Cutler's contract was never that bad. The $54 million he had guaranteed over the first three years of the contract never stopped the team from signing quality free agents. Now this year, Smoking Jay is making $12.5 million. 12.5. My bartender makes more money than that. He is not in the top 10 of paid quarterbacks for 2016, and in fact, when you look at the cap hit for 2016, he ranks 15th. Fast forward to 2019, and the cap hit will be $20 million. That's nothing compared to what the NFL salary cap will be then. He'll be 35 years old then, so if the Bears want to drop him, the cap hit dead money value will be zero dollars. Zero! But the truth is, they probably won't want to drop him because he's getting better and better as a quarterback. And he'll join that long list of quarterbacks who have started a Super Bowl over the age of 35. Guys like Fran Tarkenton, Roger Staubach, Rich Gannon, Jim Plunkett, Kurt Warner, John Elway. So misinformed media and boneheaded buddy, you've been informed. Get your facts straight and have another beer.